there's an absolute wealth of funny brand name bits and pieces on Amazon but are any of them really any good I decided to take the plunge and check out these and for some reason they sent me these too I've been using these for a couple of months now and so there's nothing in the box anymore but just so you can see what you get a whole bunch of instructions which actually I should have read because I keep forgetting <laughs> about changing the tracks and stuff this is the case itself which I've found to be decent does the job charging point if we pop that open you can see now the charging LEDs are there so it tells you how it's faring if you flip it open that reveals the unit itself now the whole point of these is to take up less space and to not have that sometimes annoying cable around your neck for example if you're training I found with the ones I was using just before this which I do like I do really like sometimes the cable got in the way on certain exercises so I thought I'd give these a try so far it's a definite pro as soon as you take them out they start to connect obviously once you've set them up the first time via Bluetooth that's dead simple and you just pop it in both ways you could technically just use one hands free if you're driving if it's legal in your country pop that in and then talk away as soon as you put them back they disconnect from Bluetooth and switch off which is actually very cool it means that you're not gonna constantly forget to uh, switch them off and run the battery down this thing will charge them while they're in the case while they're in the home and that's very cool I mean it was a little bit awkward that something so small then requires something not so small to carry around whereas my previous in the cable Bluetooth earphones I just put them in a little pouch which is probably works out half the size of that and I'm good to go but they're not charging this is charging and protected too if you're listening to some really heavy rock sort of music heavy guitar based music in the gym it might not quite be at the level of some of your other earbuds and I guess cans I've stuck with them and I'm pretty specific about having that sound blasting in my ears when I'm working out now once I've finished working out and I switch to a more mellow soundtrack you know you sort of hip-hop beats and whatever less guitar based stuff it is actually a really nice deep sound I was really impressed with the sound especially for not guitar based music obviously if you don't blast stuff out your guitar based music will sound cool as well the fit for me is a little bit funky they don't fall out but I'm still feeling like at some point I'm going to be going to the loo in the gym and they're going to accidentally fall out. You just get that feeling, but I think that's a danger with any buds of this kind. You do only have these two buttons on the side for skipping tracks, for stopping, for turning off, for answering calls and stuff like that. It takes a little bit of getting used to with the hold downs for skipping and the hold down for turning off. I haven't quite got used to that but I am only really using them in the gym good workout for an hour few times a week I am going to take them traveling with me so by the time you're watching this they'll be out there too but also I just think considering they're a lot cheaper than the big brands I'd say if you're wondering about it these MPOW TWS worth a go Bluetooth I believe is the 5.0 you can check that out also online it says 3.5 hours playback to be honest I've never had it go on me even when I've forgotten to charge it between gym sessions and stuff like that because clearly it's charging up in here it takes about an hour and a half to charge up battery capacity is low as you can imagine they're only pretty small but you know really nice audio quality easy to pair a little bit awkward to skip tracks and stuff like that recommended now I really wanted to check out like a fitness package the earbuds with a little stopwatch kind of watch to see if they were any good but for some reason this came in the post instead so let me just show it you MPOW sport bluetooth headphones limited edition 
Right, so let's flip this one open. Best wishes to you, limited edition, okie dokie. Of course, I've already had this out. May the wings of the butterfly kiss the sun and find your shoulder to light on to bring you luck, happiness and riches today, tomorrow and beyond. I just, what? Anyway, and there you go. That's the buds themselves. Let's get these out. Oh yeah, these, I think they're IPX7 waterproof. You can tell because they feel really kind of plasticky. If that's the right word, plasticky rubbery. This bit's hard though. That's quite good. <laughs> they're not my kind of thing, but if you're into red, they seem decent. At least we've got some plus minus. So we've got volume, we've got some controls there. We've got control on that one too. And a relatively discreet cable. They're very light and I can tell they're going to be very waterproof if you sweat a lot. But is the sound any good? In here we should have. Oh, we've got some booklets some, and some pieces here. I think these are around £18. So a lot cheaper. They do look cheaper, but maybe for some of you runners and stuff that's not a big problem and the bright colour means you're probably not going to lose them so easy there's your instructions package usb cable manual the extra earbuds usb cable some more earbuds there i've had a good play with these things i would definitely say they're not as bass heavy as my preferred i think these are the t2s or tws's anyway Model number on that, by the way, in case you needed to know, BH308A sometimes gets a bit confusing with some of these brands. But yeah, this fit nice actually. Controls were easy to use, easy to pair up. The volume level was good. It was definitely dealing a lot more in the highs than the lows. So I don't know. I guess as you're running, that's not the. The pounding base isn't such a big deal at this price level. This is definitely £18 compared to the others. These being, you know, £43. You can tell. But for a cheap get out of jail, these could well do the trick. I'm happy to recommend these things. I know it's very random. I know it's got nothing to do with cameras, but I also know that a lot of you guys are into your music and maybe you're not looking to spend high-end prices. Brands like this do have some nice gear. Let us know if you've used them in the comments below or if you recommend any budget earbuds, especially cool little things like this, wireless ones, stuff that, you know, years ago, we couldn't have even imagined when we had them dodgy. <laughs> headphones with foam on it and all sorts of stuff anyway leave a comment below subscribe stay tuned more cool gadgets at all sorts of price levels to come soon